going on? It's Alexander here. Back with some more Risen. Well, let's get everything going here. Ooh, book stand. I don't know. I don't know if we've read that. I knew that. Okay, yeah, we have. Um, where did... Let's just head on up and complete this quest real quick. Um, not you. Um, does he sleep up here? Ugh, what's going That's on? Flavio. I got the meat. Good work. Can you take it to Master Belchor? About the break-in, what was stolen? Ah, uh, my hides. If that hadn't have happened, I would have been able to carry on my business. Oh, I should have listened to my father and gone to sea. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. Who was here on the day of the break-in? Just the usual day laborers who wanted to push their wares off on me. Uh, like I have any gold left. Anyone else? Ah, uh, Pavel was here the whole day. After all, he works for me. And Vasily wanted to sell me beer from the tavern. And then there was Doyle. He wanted to sell fish, but I sent him away. That was all. Alrighty. So we need to find Master Belcher. Ooh, book stand. A uh, few notes on old business. Even still, it's more experience. I don't know why my voice is sounding really weird this <laughs> recording. Finn, no one there. Where did Belshaw go? I guess maybe right over here. Alright. Um, not there. Is that. Nope, oh, that's a farmer's wife. Hmm. I guess let's go uh, up here, take a nap, pay for it in the morning. Got yeah, the money, right? Yeah. Uh, hotel bed. Sleep until the morning. Where? I mean, I could technically get away with it, but... Don't think I didn't see... Sleep isn't free, so... Yeah, we're just gonna quickly do that here. Here's the gold for your bed. Sleep well. Let's... You wanna do that? Back out there. By the time we get over here, he should be technically at his place. Yep, already there fixing the stew. I brought needy. you some meat for the needy. Really? Flavio said you could use it. That I can. There are some more refugees driven here by the creatures in the temples, by the Don. We even have some refugees from other islands. We need help if we are to care for them all. Alrighty. Master Belshaw has the meat. He's handing it out. Wonderful. Here, take these potions. Life here is very dangerous. We all need any help we can get. All right, there's some more potions. All right. You know, my voice sounds really weird to me. It's actually exactly how it usually sounds in videos, so... Um, we need to go this way. I heard you had a break-in. What was stolen? A ring. A valuable one. I received it from Commandant Carlos personally, in return for a map of the island. Who was here on the day of the break-in? A few people. Mo from the slaughterhouse brought me a delivery of meat. Anyone else? The laborer Doyle sold me fish. And Pavel, one of Flavio's men, 
He sold me a couple of wolf pelts. I'll find your ring. I would be very grateful. Is the map done? Let me check. No. Alrighty. I just wasn't giving one second here. That, yep, that was the issue. <laughs> I think Sid stole it. My city is no thief, and you can't prove otherwise. Give me that ring. It's mine, okay? Mine. Handling stolen goods. You could get in trouble with the Inquisition. I doubt the Inquisition would bother themselves over me. It's not like I'm special, is it? Well, not in a way that would bother them. Uh, I gotta know what this is. Let's go I'll do this. Give you something much better instead. What do you want? I love it when a man asks me that. Tell you what, if you can find me some pearls, a whole string of them, you can have that ring. Where am I gonna get pearls from? A real man wouldn't need to ask. A real man, I'd have them in my hand quick sharpish. A lady shouldn't be kept waiting. All right. But yeah, the reason my voice sounded a little weird is I had the monitor thing on to hear my hear my voice while talking, like double. I talked to everyone involved. And do you have a suspect? Doyle, who sells fish. Have you found any evidence? No, not yet. We need more than just a hunch. Come back when you have a confession or some kind of proof. Alrighty. So we need to go find Doyle. Hop, pop, hop. And Doyle is up here. Leave me be. Oh yeah, Arno was got the front. What do you want here? I could ask you the same thing. I sleep here. Nothing wrong with that, is there, mate? You were seen in a house that was burgled. Well, I sell fish door to door. I spend time in people's houses. If you say so. You're the only person seen in all the houses that were broken into, which makes you a prime suspect. Come off it. You can't prove that, mate, and you know it. I can beat a confession out of you. That would be a big mistake, mate. I'll take the chance. Or we skip the beating and you tell me the truth. And if I do, will you help me? Or will you hang me out to dry? Just tell me. I cased the houses for Sid. There. Not so hard, was it? But what do I do with this information? If Sid hears I've talked, he'll feed me to the rotworms. And if the Order finds out, they'll send me to the monastery. You've got to keep this quiet. You will surrender to the Order. No. Please, no. I can't go to the monastery. First you stay here and hide. But Sid'll find me. And he'll kill me. I'll take care of Sid. With the statement you gave me, I'll get him. Oh, shit and fire. That's not going to be easy. Alrighty. Let's go and turn in Sid and then get him out of town. I do wonder if this will fail that Pearl's quest. I found Sid's spy. And Sid ordered him to do it, right? Yes, it was Doyle, one of the day laborers. He's scared to death and does not want to go back to the monastery. Doyle's prepared to give evidence to the Inquisition. Really? It's good to know in times like these people can still surprise you. I didn't give him a choice. You need to confront Sid with what you know. We can bring this to an end. Which, yeah, if it does fill that Pearl's quest, then now uh, well, there's only one, we one way left to get the thing. I found your spy. It's Doyle. The idiot. I thought he was better than that. Doyle's gone to the Order. He's turned himself in. What? He'll tell them everything. What are you going to do? If I stay, 
I'm in a sea of trouble. I need to get away. Yeah, I'll head out as soon as I can. Hoping the mess this town's become, I'll get forgotten. Whatever happens, I'm not letting the order take me to the monastery. There's go. plenty of others with gossip. Try them. Let's go and turn this in. Sid is trying to flee the town. Let him go. He'll just cause trouble if we put him in the monastery. At least the town will be free of his influence. Here, with the thanks of the order, we could do with more like you. Alrighty. I think it's him going. I do wonder because she kind of told me off last time. What do you want? There's plenty of others with gossip. Try them. We'll come back a little later. Bye. You look weather beaten. Did you make it here across the seas? I was shipwrecked. I washed up here. What about you? I'm a sailor. Was. With the storms, there's nothing to do in the harbor. And I give up my job with Patty. So you work for Patty? I used to. Serving beer. But people are running out of money to spend on beer. So? I was no longer needed. Luckily, she hasn't asked me to clean out my berth yet. If you're looking for work, you won't find a lot. What happens in the harbor? Not much since the ship stopped coming in. Carrasco is in charge of things. He manages the warehouse for the order and he pays terribly. Stick to Luca. He's got something cooking. And if you do well, there'll be an extra coin or two. But don't let him swindle you. Luca is a complete skin flint. No, seaman. Hey, did my old lady send you? She did. Tell her I'll come back when I've found some gold. Are you hiding from your wife? No cows, no harvest, no farm. Creatures everywhere. And she said that was my fault. Came to get work here. Now Carrasco won't even give me a job lugging crates. Would that have anything to do with the fact that you're in here getting drunk? That's got nothing to do with me. That's got nothing to do with it. That's got nothing to do with it. And you're sure about that? What are you, a missionary? I'll seek my salvation in drink. Go and bother Luca or... or... or someone. Hey. Stop staring at me. You never seen a fisherman before. Didn't mean to stare. I'm drinking, not talking. Unless you're buying, you're walking. Oh yeah, we need to talk to him a little later. That's Dider, we gotta wait for him to... Now too. there's a face that needs a drink. Better get this beer down you quick. See if you can bring a smile to it. Thanks. Oh, that's good stuff. Aren't you kind of young to be running a tavern? I wouldn't be behind this damn bar if the white robes hadn't sealed the town. Still, being here is better than being out in the gutter. Or being forced into selling my wares at Sonya's. If I could, I'd have been out of this rat hole long ago. Why do you want to get out so badly? I'm looking for something. Something valuable to me. What? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Yeah, and so can I. You've got me curious. What is it you're looking for? Right, Terrier, aren't you? Well, don't get too excited. It's nothing you can sell. I need to find my father. Really? He went missing in the storms. His name's Gregorius. He's a sailor. I heard he was here. That's why I came. But I got stranded by the storms. Then the owner of this place was killed. Got sent into the ruins by the Inquisition. So I took this place over. Haven't found a trace of my father, though. He must be somewhere outside the town. I'll help you to find your father, Gregorius. And why would you want to do that? Sorry. Not used to getting offers of help. If you find anything out, I'd be grateful. I don't know if you know Captain Romanov. I heard he came here, and that he's still on the island somewhere. Romanov is also a man of the sea. He and my father have crossed paths a few times. If anyone knows something about my father... It's going to be him. How do you plan on getting out of the town? 
No damn idea. No damn idea. Yet. I did hear there's a secret way out of the town. The Don uses it to get around the Inquisition. No idea if it's true. There's so much bloody talk in this place. I'll help you get out of town. Better men than you have told me the same thing. But their price for help wasn't one I was going to pay. Maybe you're different from the others. Maybe you're the same. But if you hear something, if you know something, I'll treat you fair. But there are things I won't do. It might be gossip, but what do they say about the secret way out of town? Artifacts keep going missing, so someone's smuggling them out. The Inquisition won't let ships leave the harbour, and they guard both gates. So the smugglers must have found a third way those damn white robes don't know about. Sounds like you could be right. Do you know any of these artifact smugglers? I bet this tavern that the Don's men are behind it. They usually are. But maybe that's just talk, too. You must know someone who deals in artifacts. Ask that guy over there. His name is Diter. Been trying to sell his special merchandise for days. No luck, poor sod. You got any rum? No, I don't. Then leave me in peace. Oh yeah, we gotta get him drunk before then. We don't actually want to talk to Diter. Remember right, we need to talk to... Where'd he go? You go upstairs? Um, guard, silly. Patty is looking for her father. Ha! Huh. Show me someone who isn't looking for Captain Gregorius Steelbeard. I'll tell you what I tell anyone. He was here a long time ago, but where he is now, I don't know. So Gregorius Steelbeard is a captain. Most famous one I know of. I'm surprised you hadn't heard of him. But I wouldn't ask too many questions if I was you. You're not me. I don't know what Patty told you, but she's the daughter to one of the most infamous pirates in these waters. And there's plenty of cut your throat if they thought you knew anything about him and his whereabouts. What else do you know about Steelbeard? Only rumors. Ericsson says Steelbeard has a shack in the town, but I don't believe it. If Ericsson really knew where Steelbeard's shack was, he'd have plundered it and be leagues from here by now. Instead, I only ever see him hanging around Sonya's brothel. Why do you think Ericsson's interested in Steelbeard's shack? Ha! <laughs> the house of a famous pirate captain who terrorized the seas and amassed inconceivable riches. Show me someone who wouldn't love to poke around in that house. Alrighty. We got a lead on on a uh, that captain. Not much of one, but it is one. Uh, we'll go that way a little later. Eh, actually, we'll do that now. Cause there's some quests down here that we should go ahead and start, cause they'll send us the other way. I'd stop right there if I were you. You ain't going any further. What's the problem? The Order runs this warehouse now. So what? So they don't want anyone wandering in uninvited. Wandering uninvited types tend to wander out again with stuff that ain't theirs. What sort of trouble? Artifact smuggling. It's bad enough these artifacts have been stolen in the ruins. You'd think they'd be safe in town in a warehouse, but there are thieves everywhere, trying to undermine the Order. Can I help? Well, the latest things to go missing were three golden bowls. The Inquisitor was not impressed. I could do with getting those back. And I need to get hold of some armor plates that walked out of the warehouse a few days ago. Let's talk compensation. I was like you once. All about the gold and the dark place. I hope you find your higher purpose. Nothing in this town is free. Especially not me. Have it your way. If you help me... You can choose your reward. Where did the Golden Balls come from? An illegal excavation at an old temple, outside the town. Since we heard about that, talk says someone's been trying to sell three Golden Balls on the black market. Idiots. To resist the order is crazy. We're driven by a greater force, a higher purpose. All right. I'll find the three Golden Balls for you. You've got a pair on you. 
I'll give you that. But with the corrupt rabble we've got around here, it won't be easy. There'll be more than just you who's after them. So watch your back. All right. We'll talk about the next one. We'll talk about the, the armor pieces in the next one. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then.